I've been teaching piano at Augsburg College for about the last year now, and I have this one student who's really good at a lot of things in music, but just really struggles with rhythm and actually finding her pulse. So sometimes when playing with a metronome, she won't start on the first beat. Other times she'll be clapping off beat. It's something that kind of goes in and out, but usually when she gets into it, she's able to keep a pulse for just a little period of time and then it'll, it'll go away again. I have attacked it from many different angles. We've done clapping every week in lessons. We've done counting. We've done eurythmics, which is something I was trained in at CIM, where you're clapping and walking and learning to feel the rhythms of your body. Uh, and just nothing's worked. I haven't been able to help her find her inner pulse and really get a hold of it. Uh, but a couple months ago, I had this idea where I gave her a vibrating metronome, the Soundbrenner Pulse. And I told her to wear it every day until the battery ran out. And she was great about it. She was wearing it every single day. And I actually just gave her my sound brenner so that she could use it and help her hopefully just feel the pulse every day. And maybe that would help solidify a lot of these rhythmic problems we've had. So I did a before and after video and a kind of a during video as well uh, to show her progress and how this worked. Um, but Overall, it really worked great. Uh, I tried everything with her before and it didn't seem to help, but having uh, this feeling of the rhythm being vibrating on her arm during the day seemed to really give her a better feeling for the pulse. So uh, you'll see in the videos at, at first, sometimes she's not clapping with the rhythm at all, but by the end, she's able to really figure out how to stay with the beat. And I focused on just doing four to a beat at 70 BPM. So you'll see the development from the beginning to the end and hopefully you'll see what a change she made. And so it wasn't just like a magic bullet or anything. This was her practicing this every day. So it was it's really a testament to practicing something um, and how it can you can really get better and having a good teacher, of course. Yay! Uh, but I was able to help with just clapping and guiding her each week and that's how you really make a difference with, with rhythm but the sound brenner was a really important tool that really helped uh, solidify and get rid of some of these problems that she's had so hope you enjoy well, let's check it out we're, four, we're at 70 and you're gonna do four to a beat ready okay go ahead there you go. Cool. Okay, so we're going to try 70, uh, the same thing, but we'll do it again in a week. Okay, so we just saw that first video, and she's really not able to find the beat there. It, it's coming in fits and spurts like here and there, and I'm kind of guiding her a little bit but it just wasn't really happening. So that one I forgot to bring my video camera that day, so I was able just to do audio. Uh, but I think you get a feeling for about where she was at. So, and it wasn't just like that with four to a beat, it was like this with one to a beat, two to a beat, uh, but four to a beat would just presented such a struggle we weren't able to do it. So let's hear a week later. So you can see I'm still having to clap with her a little bit, uh, but she was able she was able to get it. So it's something that was just starting to kind of sink in a little bit, but it was, still wasn't quite there. Um, now let's see the last week. So here we go. This is our last video. So as you can see, it's not something that she was totally perfect with rhythm by the end of this, but she did a great job and really improved. 
I mean, hugely. At the beginning, she wasn't even able to find four to a beat, and it was something we worked on for months. I just couldn't get her to do it. By the end, she's really able to do it pretty solidly. Sure, she sometimes needed help getting started or stopping or finding the beat right off the bat, but it was a massive improvement. Um, so I would love to know uh, what kinds of tools you guys are using to help people find their inner pulse. If you found this video helpful, and what other tools you guys are using. Uh, so this was the first kind of experiment for me and I'd love to see more on this. Uh, big thanks to Hannah for letting me use her clips of her and her lessons in this video. Also a big thanks to Soundbrenner. I reached out to them, told them I gave her my pulse and they offered to send me uh, the new Soundbrenner core when it comes out. So that's pretty exciting. I'll do a review of that when it comes in. Uh, but they didn't sponsor this video in any way. Um, and I, ended, I, I had given her my pulse and decided to do this project before I reached out to them about it. Uh, but it's really cool to see what these new technologies are enabling. So uh, I'm going to be doing some more reviews the next couple months. I'm going to do some more music. I just have my album out. It's called Thin Space. Pew. Check it out there. Also, if you can subscribe to this channel and my other channel, Duo Futur, we've got like 53 subscribers and I'd love to have 54 or 55. That would be so cool. So go over there to Duo Futur. It's uh, classical music, cello, piano, but with electronics and new technologies like Leap Motion and yeah. So go check it out. All right, guys. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed this video.